Hi, I'm Vaughan Weisfield, head of the Human Autonomic Neurophysiology Laboratory here at the Baker Heart and Diabetes Institute in Melbourne, Australia. I'm going to talk to you today about a recent paper that we had published in the Techniques and Physiology section in the Journal of Physiology, in which we report the very first recordings from the human cervical vagus nerve. Now, most of the work that we do in this laboratory involves micronography, uh, recording mosasympathetic nerve activity or skin sympathetic nerve activity, looking at the effects of different disease states on, on sympathetic outflow. We also do brain imaging, in which we perform functional magnetic resonance imaging whilst recording sympathetic outflow in order to understand where in the brain sympathetic outflow is generated. But here we're interested in making recordings from the cervical vagus nerve. The vagus nerve in the neck runs along the carotid artery and the jugular vein. So one could say that putting a very sharp needle into the neck close to the artery is a little bit dangerous. Nevertheless, we pursued this approach using ultrasound guidance. So with the ultrasound, we could clearly identify the vagus nerve, which in most individuals lies lateral to the carotid artery. Anyway, the paper talks about some of the preliminary observations we have made so far, including recordings from parasympathetic axons supplying the heart, so cardio inhibitory neurons, the tonic firing rate of which was linearly related to the cardiac interval or universally related to heart rate. If you'd like to learn more about our ongoing research into the human vagus nerve, do feel free to contact me on vaughan.macefield at baker.edu.au. And thank you for reading the paper.